Who's won the round? Amit Shah or Rahul Gandhi? Who won round two? That's the second day of the no confidence motion. Was this a knockout punch from the Congress as they hope or another opportunity lost? That's the questions we're going to raise. Joining us first on our face-off are Shehzad Punawala, the BJP's evergreen spokesperson, and Jyoti Mani, Seni Malai, the Congress MP. Appreciate your joining us, Jyoti Mani. Let's get this straight. Jyoti Mani, there is a belief that Rahul Gandhi was extremely angry today, used even an analogy likening the Prime Minister to Ravan, saying Bharat Mata has been divided. Was it sound and fury more than facts? What was Rahul Gandhi, in your view, trying to convey? And why do you think he won this round? Every word he has spoken in the parliament has fact and truth. He himself, yeah, he himself went to pa Manipur and have seen what happening over there. Rajdeep, it's... It's reflecting my... Okay, we'll have it. Uh, if you can... Is, we, there is some issue with audio, it's reflecting. We'll, 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 try and, we'll try and work out on your audio, uh, but uh, can you hear me now? Go on. Yeah, I can hear you. Please go ahead now. Yeah. So he has seen in his... I, yeah, in, he has seen what happened in Manipur in front of his eyes. I also went with him. People cried to him. People hugged him. People... He has seen the pain in his heart. Today he explained in the uh, parliament that how a mother in, uh, whose son in front of her eyes been shot dead, the unfortunate mother has to spend a whole night with the dead body of the uh, son. You just think about the pain of that mother. It, 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 you don't need to be a political leader. You don't need to be a prime minister or home minister or chief minister to realize this pain. But this government, Narendra Modi's government and violencing government in Manipur, they are not ready to listen to the pain of the people. That is the, that is the main problem. Second thing, as Raghulji rightly said, this, uh, this government would have been uh, and, and heartful. This government would have been seriously cared about the people of this Manipur, uh, people of this India. They could have stopped the violence in no time, but they don't want to respond to it because as Raghulji rightly said, they throw kerosene across Manipur and now they are doing it in Haryana, they will do across India. That's, uh, that's, that's what Raghulji cares about it. See, Raghulji is not angry. He is agonized when he spoke in the parliament. When, when a state is born, a prime minister of this country do not want to utter a single word on Manipur. Can't he appeal for a peace? Can't he give an assurance as the Prime Minister of this country? I am charge of this state. I will take care of you. Please, I appeal for a peace. Trust me. Why can't he say this? That's what opposition, the India bloc, is asking in the parliament that please come to the parliament up and appeal through the forum of the parliament and assure the people of Manipur he will bring peace. You see that uh, uh, video has been gone viral. Mm -hmm. How women been stripped naked and paraded and gang raped. And uh, Prime Minister involved in a water boat tree. There's not not about which state, what happening to one, wherever it happening to one is wrong. Rahul Gandhi ji put forward all the facts in the parliament. Not he is, he is not angry. He is agonized. That's okay. the fact. But what Home Minister Amit says, reply to Rahul Gandhi question is not fact. It's not substance. It's all bloody lies. All bloody lies. You are saying, and you are saying Rahul Gandhi was agonized, not angry. Shehzad Punawala, respond to what you are hearing because Amit Shah gave a factual response from a central point of view, but refused to accept accountability. No accountability for Biren Singh's failing and no accountability for Home Minister's failings. It was factual, but it was also shirking responsibility and some would say not showing enough empathy. People have died, more than 150 have died. Where was the empathy? So if Rahul Gandhi's was missing in terms of hard facts, Amit Shah perhaps was missing in terms of accountability and empathy. Your response? Uh, Rajdeep, I heard the Honorable MP and you and I did not utter a single word. So I hope in my opening statement, I'm given one minute to make my opening statement. I can understand the pain that Rahul's 13th attempt at the relaunch has now been excruciatingly difficult for his lieutenant's nannies to watch. And therefore, I have certain questions to ask factually. You're talking about pain and empathy. Rajdeep, you were an important reporter. 1993, 200 people died. Not a single visit by the HM. A statement was laid by the MOS. Mm. Where was the bloody empathy? 1997, 352 dead. 13,000 displaced from June 97 to September 98. That's how long the Manipur violence went on. Where was the bloody empathy and the pain? 
2011, 123 days, Bund continued. Supreme Court had to intervene. Longest blockade, petrol was sold at 2,000 rupees a liter. Where was the bloody empathy by the Congress party? This is not what about me. This is showing a fact and a mirror of accountability what has happened in the last nine years. Yes. It is what about me. Rajdeep. This is about 2023. I did not interrupt anybody. Please go ahead. Thank you. In the last nine years, compared to the nine years before, 772 deaths, today 150 deaths. And those deaths have taken place after the High Court order came. Before that, 2022, here's the India Today report, the deaths have come down to two civilian deaths. This is not what about it. These are facts. Face them. After that, between 2005, 2004 to 13, 4,763 incidents. Today, 1,600 insurgency incidents. The Northeast has seen 81% drop in civilian deaths. The Bruriang Accord, Assam Bodo Accord, Assam Meghalaya dispute has been solved. A whole range of accords like Karvi Anglong, which was pending from 70 years, 60 years, have been signed. Yes, this Manipur incident has happened. But Rajdeep, I want to ask you a question today. Rajdeep, you put out two tweets today. First, mm -hmm. you said, after the Honorable MPs raised an issue about the flying kiss in Parliament, mm -hmm. that what a disgrace in a sense that parliamentary debates should be known for content and not for delivery. And not for content and delivery, not for theatrics. That's what you said, right? But then, in the next tweet that you said, simple question, why is it that Sunset TV kept cutting away from the speaker to the speaker when Rahul Gandhi had a punchline and focused on the chair instead? Was Rahul Gandhi there to deliver punchlines? You yourself have tweeted that Rahul Gandhi was getting punchline after punchline while the camera is not focused on him. You contradicted yourself. Is it a platform for theatrics or is it a platform for content? No, no, and the flying content, kiss controversy, according second. to me, is pure diversion. It has nothing to do with the substance of debate. I, ah. First of all, let's be very clear. No one has seen that flying kiss, so I'm not going to... I asked you a question about accountability and empathy. You have not responded to that, Shehzad Punawala. Is I, by citing what has happened when the Congress was in power, this government cannot avert uh, its accountability. Amit Shah is the Home Minister, yes. Biren Singh is the Chief Minister. Why was the Home Minister today defending the Chief Minister? Now, Rajdeep, thank Why you. was he defending thank the you. Chief Minister? Thank you, Rajdeep. And I hope 30 seconds you won't interrupt yes. me. You asked me questions about the accountability of Biren Singh. Mr. Amit Shah got up in Parliament and answered about all of those questions. But I want to ask you, Rajdeep, can you tell me how many resignations you demanded in 97 or 1993 or in 2011? Mm -hmm. Please tell me. Did you demand the resignation of the Chief Minister Okram Ebovi Singh in 2011? Mr. Achha, no, Rajdeep, Mr. Do not interrupt, Rajdeep, I am continuing. You just said that I do not want theatrics, I want content in debates. Yes. I agree with you. Flying kiss should not be a controversy. Mm. Fair enough. Somebody is felt aggrieved. If you do a flying kiss on the streets, you will be booked. So somebody has taken that action. But tell me, how is it that when you tweet that why did the speaker, why did the TV keep cutting away to the speaker when Rahul Gandhi had a punchline? Was Rahul Gandhi there for dialogue delivery or to raise an issue of importance? And if he was there to raise an issue of importance, why hasn't he quoted what his own government did? He said, for instance, you have the army. In three days, you can stop this. In 2011, why didn't they stop it in three days? Why is it that Rahul Gandhi doesn't come out and tell us now? Let me complete. No, no, your time Rash. is up. No, no, Jyoti Mani must respond. I want equal Can time. Can I ask Jyoti Mani one question? Yeah, very woman. quickly. Today it was a no confidence motion. The entire issues, you yeah, said all please. issues could be discussed under the sun. In the morning you said this? Yes. Jyoti Mani, please tell me the statement you made on the Bhilwara tragedy where a woman was gang raped and put into the bhatti. Or tell me when your chief minister comes out and defends and says that rape cases are mostly fake. Or Shanti Dhariwal says that it's a Mardoka Pradesh, it can happen. Malda two women were stripped, they were Adivasi women. Mamta Banerjee called it fake. And Shashi Panja said, Kitana Kapra Nikla. If you are on the issue of women, Rajri, then where, as, where okay. is your, your outrage your on this? Okay. Please tell us, Mani, Jyoti Mani. Jyoti Mani, you are being accused of selective Raj, outrage. Go ahead. Rajri, ra, ra, uh, yeah. Rajri uh, give me uh, equal time. Yes, yes. See, Northeast is always a very sensitive and, and complex uh, part of India. In the past, uh, a Congress party has made so much effort, even sacrificing this, our party's own interest in places like Mizoram, be able to bring a peace in uh, Northeast. Never in the past, the government of the day, either in the union government or in the state government, we never accused of part of the conspiracy. None other than BJP MLAs in Manipur accusing Mr. Biden, accusing the state government and its machinery be part of this complete uh, uh, ravage. And they accusing the Prime Minister um, not meeting the BJP MLAs themselves and he is uh, not responding to the pain of the people. None other than BJP MLA says this. Not, nowhere in the past, either the state government or the union government 
government has not accused, never the Prime Minister of the day, Congress Prime Ministers, never refused to spoke on Manipur. They have empathetic, they have ready to speak in the parliament, they never took sides. They always tried their best to bring the peace and Ma'am, what you cannot also disagree is that That's over the last finish. nine years, there has been relative peace in the Northeast. You cannot deny that. And there have been many more visits by the Prime Minister and senior ministers to the Northeast. So Manipur, yes, terrible that it is. Are we saying that the Modi government no. deliberately did it in some way when Rahul Gandhi says, Inka kaam hai, uh, 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 ke, 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 kerosene dalna, is he saying that the burning has taken place of Bharat Mata by the BJP? That the BJP itself is, is responsible for it? Amit Shah says it's a court verdict. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll would like to correct you. There is a, a Assam and Meghalaya, there is a border dispute. It was bond. You, you should not uh, forget about that. Meghalaya police and Assam police fought each other despite being a BJP government in Assam and BJP in Alliance government in Manipur. That's the stories and everything is right is not correct. Secondly, Rahulji accused, rightly accused the uh, Narendra Modi government because the government, government of the day is witnessing this, uh, uh, witnessing this pain and the agony of the people. It, it's completely burned. Why Rahul Gandhi wanted to go by the uh, road is actually the both sides of the roads were burned. Houses were burned. Vehicle was burned. People were burned. People were beheaded. You, can you see anywhere in the government, both the communities have lost faith in the Mr. Biden. Why the government of the day? Why the Prime Minister? Why the Home Minister? Home Minister shamelessly in the floor of the parliament defending Biden and he's they are they are they are not they are unable to sack him because yes both the community entire Manipur irrespective of the community lost hope in the Biden's government because Biden is accused of part of the conspiracy okay. because of Biden's inability no, because of no, Biden's no, silence because of Biden's what's what's against uh, so you're saying when the situation you're is saying the home minister actually created the more okay, violence you're saying the home minister, minister silence agree with Biden okay. that's not our charge okay you're saying the Home Minister has been complicit because he has failed to act against Biren Singh, the Chief Minister. Another two. I asked you accountability and empathy. I did a story two weeks ago on a Manipur. Also, and uh, just a minute, ma'am. Ma one, one minute. One minute, ma'am. I did a story two weeks ago on a Manipur MLA who today is grievously injured. A cookie MLA. He is recovering, uh, virtually paralyzed in in Delhi. No BJP minister, uh, senior minister, whether Amit Shah or Prime Minister Modi has gone to see him. That comes to empathy. Accountability. Who is going to be sacked? Are you telling me, Shahzad Punawala, that Manipur will go through this entire terrible two months with no political accountability? Is the executive not accountable? The two questions that where Mr. Shah may have failed are empathy and accountability, just as the Congress may have to answer for what they did when they were in power. Your response. After Jyoti speaks, you make a one no, no, and you, a half you, minute question speak. I, and I, then you interrupt okay. me in 30 seconds. Don't interrupt me in 30 seconds, I'll answer both of you. Please no answer. Problem. But don't interrupt me for 45 seconds, I request you. You said you did a story on the BJP MLA, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Did you do a story on this BJ Congress MLA who said that last three years no rape case has been filed against a sitting minister's son? You're looking at Divya Maderna's yes. story. You're looking yes at Rajasthan. No. Every time I ask you, time. why is it that Rajdeep, every time I ask is, you about Manipur, you speak about Rajasthan? You will let me answer. Okay. I want you to answer 45 this. seconds, you promised me. Why, do you, why are you comparing one rape with another? You one... should note, she spoke for three minutes. Rajdeep's question was for one and a half minutes. I'm interrupting 20 seconds. Okay, go ahead. Viewers do note. Okay. And do, do tweet note. about it also. Okay, please. May I continue? Yes. Jyoti Mani just now said Northeast is complex. Mm -hmm. That means it has a history of 50, 60 years. She said, we have never blamed anybody, the Prime Minister, etc. Rahul Gandhi, 28th July. Ideology of RSS, BJP has set Manipur on fire. So where was the RSS in 1950 when this issue was happening? Where was the RSS BJP in 1960 when this issue was happening? And if you had all the solutions, Rahul Gandhi has all the solutions to all the problems his family has created, why didn't he just solve this? You had one Chhatra rule in Northeast and in the center for decades, Jyoti Mani. Why didn't you do it? You should have solved it. If we were so incompetent, you would have solved all the problems, given all the infrastructure and development to the Northeast, connected it to the mainstream. You solved. would never have had the BJP come in. Now, Rajiv Bashi interrupting. Yeah, finish, finish, finish. Go ahead. Yeah. You know, now, sack Biren Singh. All right, let's sack Biren Singh. I will completely agree with you. But ma'am, Jyoti Maniji, and I'm not asking this of Rajdeep. In 1993, when 200 deaths took place and you had central and state government, whom did you sack? Forget sacking. Did the PM make a statement in the house? Forget PM. Did the HM go to the state? 2011, 123 days, whom did you sack? 
In 1997, 352 dead, 13,000 displaced. June 97 to September 1998, this goes on, the violence. Who did you sack? Statement in the house. Mm -hmm. Did the PM speak Jyoti Mani? It was IK Gujral, UF government supported by you. Did you speak? Did the Congress party issue a statement? Don't sit here and lecture us. And so, so can I ask you this? Is the principal argument that you're making that the Congress cannot take the moral high ground on Manipur because of its own track record of not acting against its chief ministers when it has been in power in the Northeast? Is that the broad argument no. you're making? Am I correct? No. What the broad argument I'm making is, Rajdeep, that the Home Minister has ensured that the DGP chief secretary is changed, security advisor is sent, he is the chair of the unified command. In the last few days, we have seen 1100 FIRs, 14,000 arrested, people have got all their compensations, deliveries are being ensured to ensure that the essentials are not blocked in any way. I want to know from the Congress party, since they have run governments, not Rajdeep Sardesai, what locus standi do they have to even ask this question today? And madam, if women are important, then answer two questions. For the last 10 days, you did not allow parliament to function because you said PM should speak, then Manipur should, on Manipur, and then everything else should happen. Why did you make a change for it in Delhi services bill? What was so important? Delhi services that you said, no, no, for Delhi services, hum shanti se jayenge, now let it go on. But Manipur, pe pehle PM bole, nine days you interrupted parliament. And please tell me, madam, if Manipur is so important and women are so important, then what is the statement you made on Rajendra Guda raising in the assembly that Rajasthan has become most unsafe for women? Okay. You sat there no, no, your, your time is up. She must now answer. Yes. You know, the constant question being asked from the BJP is A, the Congress's own track record when they were in power in Manipur, and B, that when it comes to rapes that take place, according to the BJP, in Congress rule states, Rajasthan is being given as the example. Where is Jyoti money? Where is that anger? Where is the outrage? That's what is their constant line. Rajdeep, I already answered the one part of the question. When Congress party was in power, never the Congress chief minister in the state, nor the um, uh, uh, prime minister uh, in the union government, never accused of siding with anybody, never accused of uh, uh, part of the violence. So mm. that is the difference. That is why then opposition parties never uh, demanded any right. statement from the prime minister. And also never in the history of Indian independence, not, not a single prime minister has afraid, of, afraid to come to parliament and hiding away from the parliament and opposition in a position to move a no-confidence motion just to get the Prime Minister to the Parliament to okay. speak on Manipur. So it's never happened. What about the so second part? Why aren't you raising your voice on Congress rule states Congress when there are atrocities against the women? See, we are raising the voice, in whether it's a woman or not a woman, wherever the atrocities, sexual violence, rape happened against women, we as a citizens, we as a human being has to raise our voice. We are continuously raising our voice. Rajasthan government within three days act mm -hmm. against the rapist who's supposed to, who's been allegedly have a APVP, a BJP's youth wing link. Mm -hmm. with the Rajasthan government has acted immediately, unlike the Bahrain government, unlike the union government who shamelessly support the Bahrain government in Manipur. Till the video has come, it become a viral, it's hot, it, it broke everybody's heart, not only in India, across the world. Supreme Court came down heavily on them, then only they have uh, uh, filed an FIR. What they have done, there is a huge difference. Sexual violence against women is happening. We do not want to politicize whether it is a Manipur, mm -hmm. whether it is a Rajasthan, whether it is a Madhya Pradesh. This, this is beyond political parties. But you, I would like to quote Supreme Court, especially what CJ, uh, Honorable CJ has said. The woman bodies cannot be a, a, a platform to perpetrate violence. That's what's happening in Manipur. Okay. You cannot uh, separate uh, the rape and the humiliation and the sexual violence Manipur woman goes through and the violence happening in Manipur. You cannot differentiate the silence of the Prime Minister, the silence of the Home Minister, the silence... And the, uh, and the accusation made against the Bahrain who is part of this violence is something is uh, uh, something is really uh, heartbreaking, really painful. Okay, I, that you... is why Rahul Gandhi ji today sat in the parliament, you throwing kerosene like on Manipur, you kill the Bharat Mada, you kill the India, that's what we concern more about. Okay, it. so he, he, you know, just as your, we've heard the base of your, the nub of the Congress's argument is the BJP is running away from accountability. The Prime Minister had to be virtually, has to be forced to come to speak in parliament as a result of a no-confidence motion. The Home Minister, according to them, hasn't made enough effort to ensure accountability, particularly of the Chief Minister. They believe Biren Singh should have been sacked weeks ago. His non-sacking means the cookie mate divide remains. And that's why, according to Rahul Gandhi, Bharat Mata has been divided. 
you have split the cookies and the methis in a manner that according to the Congress has never happened before. Your final word, Bharat Mata, according to Rahul Gandhi, has been murdered. The Prime Minister has been likened to Ravan, where he says he has only two friends, Amit Shah and Adani. Your final word. Thank you. First of all, I don't uh, understand that not once did you interrupt like you keep interrupting me when she has the gall to say after 93, 97, 2011 that no, during our situation nobody demanded the Prime Minister or any accountability from anybody and therefore we never even laid a statement on the 1997 issue. Not once did you interject her. No, no, she said, no, no, one no, minute, one minute. No, 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 one Rathi, minute, what do you, you have to interject do me not after what three said. minutes of her she said, and one minute of you She said that the Chief Minister did seconds. not play parties and politics. Your response. She did says you, she did how not. Many seconds ma before you interrupt me? Ma just how many seconds before you interrupt me? I want, I'm giving you one minute. How many minute, seconds one, before I'm giving you, you one me. minute under, uninterrupted. Go ahead. Thank you. It's great. 93 people die, 97 people die, 2011 people die, nobody in the media asked them questions. She said nobody demanded accountability because we were doing a fantastic job, therefore it kept happening again. And Rajdeep asks me but I does not ask her it. that, I Madam, is this it. the stand you're taking? Please, Jyotimani, I have not spoken in front between you. Secondly, revenge rape was used I as have, if... Ma'am, just a minute, ma'am, just a minute. I asked you a question. Again, you have interrupted no, no, because after taking not you. my question. I, I will, will ask, answer in the I asked you a question. You no. have to be patient like no. you are patient with her. I asked you a question Rajdeep, and I will ask you for the watching. last time before we end. Rajdeep, According everyone is to the watching. opposition, the Rajdeep, Prime Minister you will get has the not answer been accountable. At the end of one minute. Yeah, please go ahead. Thank you. You'll get the answer at the end of one minute. You must finish your time because I have to move on. Yes, you didn't have to move on when you were giving her a luxurious amount of time. Go ahead. Rajdeep, she has the gall to say that 20, in 2021, when revenge rape was used against 21 women and the High Court of West Bengal and the Supreme Court took cognizance against the rapes that took place, at that time women were dehumanized and those affidavits are in court, the cases are on. Not one line was said by Rahul Gandhi on this. And she's saying you've stood up for all these issues, then why haven't you stood up on what Divya Maderna said? This is an issue where a Dalit woman was raped in front of her husband. The police tried to suppress the case. Here is the... Because Rajdeep may have not done a story on this, but it had happened. Here is where women were stripped in Barmaid once again just a few days ago. This is a story where the chief minister says 50% rape cases are fake. What is the stand that led you, led Sakti, while Priyanka Vardha took? You have 30 here seconds to answer my question. I am answering. The Prime Minister's silence. I know how many silence. seconds it takes to answer your question. You've got 30 Shanti seconds. Shanti Dhariwal says... Your time starts now. Shanti Dhariwal says... 30 Mando. seconds, your time starts now. Shanti Dhariwal says... The Congress's says, principal ar argument is the Prime Minister has not been made accountable for Manipur. He has not spoken out on it and the home minister is not making the chief minister accountable. Quick Shanti answer. Shanti Dhariwal says, Mardo ka Pradesh hai, balatkar hota rahega. What accountability did you ask of the Congress? And here is you when two women were, re, were, were stripped. 20 seconds left. 20 seconds left. I understand your The principal okay. argument of the opposition is not being Rajdi answered by people you. Are, people are watching tonight. I am asking Rajdi you. people are watching tonight. You're not but answering. When I, am tr I will answer your question, but I will not be interrupted and heckled by you. No, you've got 20 seconds. Yes, I will answer. The time I'm trying to show the Congress a mirror, she, she took a moral high ground, you did not interrupt her once. I am showing her a mirror, you interrupt me five times. Now coming to your question. Rajdeep Sardesai, if you are demanding accountability of the Chief Minister, Please tell me, will you have the same standard for Mamta Banerjee and for Ashok Gehlot? Mm -hmm. Or you have a special standard only for BJP CMs? Here is a minister who said, Kitana kapda nikla. Here is a Mamta Banerjee who said that it, uh, the stripping of those Adivasi women have not taken place. She called Park Street rape case fake. Okay. She called the rape case in Nadia fake. Rajdeep Sardesai, when she called Nadia rape case fake and said it Rajdeep, was a love affair gone by, please tell me, did you demand resignation? Or did you demand resignation when Ashok Gehlot said 50% rape cases are fake? Please tell me. I think has Biren Singh made such a I statement? Am, I has Biren Singh made such a statement? Okay, so you are saying Biren Singh is not accountable. That's the view of the BJP. I it is saying, unfair hold to hold him accountable. The Ashok same Gehlot standard must be held. He says for Ashok Gehlot, Mamta Banerjee, and others. That's the answer that the BJP is given. We've heard the Congress is also answer saying that they believe that the government of the day has not been accountable. Who won the debate? You decide. Shehzad or Jyoti Mani?